Good afternoon, my lovely students. Today, we are going to be introduced to simple past regular verbs. Why did we call them the regular verbs? Because they follow the rules. They follow the rules. Um, a big number of the verbs, uh, they follow the rules. Because of this, we call them regular verbs verbs today we are going to listen to the explanation of the simple past lesson the regular verbs who follow the rules miss rawan al qaisi jordanian international schools let's start our lesson go when do we use simple past we use simple past to talk about Actions happened in the past and finished. Last week, Masa played with her friends. Omar watched TV an hour ago. Lean walked to school yesterday morning. The keywords. The keywords. When do we use simple past? When are, uh, uh, how we are going to realize that we need to use simple past in the uh, exercise in front of us? Where, when, actually, when you see these keywords, ago, last, like last day, last week, last month, once upon a time, in those days, one day, in 1980s, in my childhood, Yesterday, the day before, the other day, when I was young, when I was a baby, when I was a child, okay? Don't forget, these are the key words. Whenever you see them, use simple past. The first rule, do you remember that I told you that many and a lot of the verbs in English language, they, are, they follow the rules because of this. We call them regular verbs. Okay, so let's be introduced to the regular verbs. The first rule is we have to add ed at the end of the verb. Like post, posted. Snow, snowed. Cook, cooked. We added ED. This is the most important rule, my lovely friends. Don't forget it. If the verb, this is the second, if the verb ends with E, it already has an E at the end. Don't trouble yourself and add ED. Only add D. Smile has E at the end. So, we did not trouble ourselves to add another ED. We only added D. Bake, baked. Phone, phoned. If the verb ends with consonant plus Y, consonant plus Y. Please, my lovely students, please pay attention to the consonant. It has to be a consonant before the Y, okay? Turn the Y into I and add ED, like we did in the simple present. Cry, we had a consonant before the Y, so we turned the Y into I and we added ED. Try, tried. Fly, fl flied. If the verb ends with one vowel, please, this is a very nice rule and maybe the, the, uh, 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 this is your first time to hear it. If the verb ends with one vowel, one consonant. One vowel and one consonant. What shall we do? We double the consonant, students. What shall we do? We double the consonant. Hop. One vowel, one consonant. Hug. One vowel, one consonant. Knit. One vowel, one consonant at the end. So we double the consonant. Here we doubled the P, the consonant. Here we doubled the G, the consonant. T, the consonant. Here we doubled it. 
and we added ed at the end of the verb. Okay? Let's do the exercises very fast. So, to practice the simple past. Molly posted. Yeah, posted a letter. My grandma knitted. Why did I double the T? Why did I double the T? Because I had a one vowel, one consonant. One vowel, one consonant. So, I double the T the consonant the t at the end and i add e d what did here what what did thomas do here thomas watched the birds watched the birds the baby here what did he do our neighbor's baby cried and you're going to notice that cry changed a lot here why? Because we had a consonant at the end and Y. So we had a consonant before the Y. So we turned the Y into I and we added ED. It snowed a lot in my town. Jen, she baked a cheesecake last Sunday. <coughs> Roger, what did he do? He phoned Sue. Remember, my sweet friends, whenever we have E at the end of the verb, we don't add another ED, we only add G to it. We only add T D to it. Liz, she cooked a meal, a very delicious meal. On the campfire, cooked. John, what did he do in front of the computer? He waited. We added ed at the end of the verb. My uncle collected stamps at the age of 10. Mrs. Swan ironed her son's shirt. We added ed. Kevin smiled. We have E at the end of the verb, so we added only D. Smiled at Sam. And this is the last one. Peter packed his sleeping bag. Please, my lovely students, do page 19 in the grammar booklet to practice simple past, the regular form. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.